Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Let's go ahead and make a rust and jute fire roll today. And we will harvest our rust from out in the woods. There's been enough trashy people down through the years that have used these woods as their dumping ground. So right here running across the trail are some straps that were embedded into the ground. And I found a piece, uh, I thought I was going to have to break it off, but it was already rusted through. And here's some more here and right here. But this is a good example. This thing is loaded with rust. And that is all that we would need, but let's see if we can find some more sources of rust. Looks like there's plenty of rust on it. Good. And here are some roundish boards that I should be able to use for a top board. And now for tinder, how about this tulip poplar bark? It's got a little bit of bark on it right there. Let's see if we can make a fire. All right, let's see what we can do with that. Tulip poplar bark, a rusty can, a rusty metal strap, two top boards, jute. Now I need a tabletop. Oh, look. Let's go ahead and get our bark. <clears throat> Looks like there's some good bark on this small branch. Good. Now, I will break this bark over my finger and peel off that outer bark because it's this inner bark is what we want to use for the tinder bundle. Now we can just process this up. You want to get it as fine as possible. Roll it, rip it, tear it apart, fold, spindle, and mutilate it. So take your time with it, process it up into as fine a fibers as you can. Now, need to process up our jute. I'm only going to need about a foot of jute. Separate these three cords. And start taking the cords apart. You want to make sure you get it good and fine. You don't want any knots in it.
I like to roll it into sort of an even tube like this and then start putting my rust in there. Because when I flatten it out, then it'll be the right width. Let's see what we have on the strap. And I'm going to scrape. I'm not going to scrape with this part of my knife. That's what I scrape fat wood and ferro rod with. But I will scrape with this part. should be enough. I want it to be as small as possible though. Take out any big chunks. Can you see it? Let's try that. Pull it up as tight as you can get it. Let's give it a try. And I want to go for my strongest fireboard. That's got such a twist in it. This part down here doesn't have a twist. Uh, it's not very strong. It's going to take a lot of pressure to get that to ignite. Now you've seen me fire roll cotton and wood ashes with the handle of my knife, but I'm going to actually need more downward pressure than that. And now that we have a top board that won't give, let's see what happens. I bet you I can make a piece of cotton go. Let me walk back up to the garage, come back with a piece of cotton, and we'll try one last time. See if I can get some more rust off of this. That should be enough. Let me go get some cotton. I'm gonna use that big old heavy pine knot as a top board.
What do you think? There's a dirty knife for you. We got to make this work. We are running out of options. Where is the straightest part here? I think it's right here. Rust and cotton fire roll. Pine knot top board. All the materials found in the woods, except for the fiber medium. see smoke. Go back and roll it some more. Well, I cut it in half, but sometimes that's a good thing. Keep on rolling it. I need to roll it more than 20 times. Wait a second. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was running out of options, wasn't I? Let's just sit here and enjoy that for a minute or two. put on top of it when it starts to burn put some of that no that's wet we'll put some of this bark on there so we can get some good flames out of it All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.